Glenn Mason at Wilson Sporting Goods, and I have been injection molding for 30 years, which is a little embarrassing, but it's true. Why did we do what we're doing is, is really the question, right? What was the problem we're trying to solve? And we've developed a thermoplastic material and process technology for bat handles many, many, many years ago. And in fact, in a lot of ways, we've moved beyond that and gone to different directions. But uh, recently, supply chain has been an issue. Everybody knows that. And we were looking at options that we could use to sort of secure some of our market space, particularly at the youth market. And we said, well, we have this old technology and we want to revamp it, right? Give it a new cosmetic look, a slightly different material chemistry than we were using before, uh, different adhesive processes, all kinds of things that have evolved over time. Uh, so we need to test this, right? And we could have taken an old mold and molded that material. And that would have given me part of the answer, right? And we could 3D print parts uh, with other technologies that would give me something cosmetic. Uh, but really what I needed to do is say, I need this shape in this material so that my R&D team can test it and validate this in a relatively short period of time. We could have cut a metal tool. That is possible. Uh, but that supply chain thing I was talking about, it refers to labor also. So in our world, business is great. We're selling a lot of product. And the limited resources I have at the tool side, they're all devoted to maintaining production. So R&D is constrained. And so the choice here wasn't, do I spend a week and a half cutting a metal mold or a few days getting the plastic process working? It was really, do I have a part or do I not have a part? It was that simple. So the additive tooling technology, sure it's fast, it worked well, it's relatively straightforward and easy, but the main thing is it made it possible. If we hadn't gone this direction, you wouldn't see any part in the case. There would be nothing. And that's really what I like to see here. It's not the, the part's an interesting thing. It's a, a relatively good showpiece of additive technology and how it's being applied to injection mold tooling. But really the value here is in what you can't see. It's in the entire logistics that are surrounding this, how we were able to execute on the process, and really how we could pivot and say our choice is not only to have zero parts to test for R&D, but zero bats for our customer group. And this enabled us to get there. So that's a long way of saying, uh, enabling me to do new things quickly, that's important, but what it's really enabling is my customers to get what they want. That's what I care about.